Hey, hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today we're doing the server tour of our Mortal Engine server. So here in front of us, we have RSB, otherwise known as Cajun's Mortal Engine. So I thought I'd just quickly talk about the rules of this server, and we've got two and a half weeks left if you're still interested in playing with us. And you can play with us either becoming an active and loyal member on our Discord or through Patreon. So let's talk about the Mortal Engine server and what we've done to set it up. So we've got two sorts of roles you can play as. You can play as a city or a Mortal Engine, or you can play as a Nomad. Now, each one of these complements each other, and in turn, they work with each other, so they have to trade. Mortal Engines can only build one large static grid, and they cannot buy any flyers. Now, on the other hand, nomads can build flyers, so it makes them very useful for collecting things and trading with the mortal engines. Nomads can only build small grids as well, so it means they have to work with the mortal engines to get the parts they need to grow their small grid larger. So with them relying on each other so much, trading is really quite good on this server so far. So let's have a quick look around um, Cajun's grid, and we'll move on and have a look around the various grids that are going on. So you can see Cajun has got his small 150mm turrets tucked in here. We need some cannons, of course, from Mortal Engines. And you can see these have been quite deadly. We've also had some long-range artillery battles. That's been quite exciting. Now, since we're on week two, mining has been turned off. So it means that all players currently have to trade for resources. In week three, it might be switched back on. Well, there we go. That's Cajun's rover. Very thick, reinforced, with all the things he needs tucked away inside here in a very compact package. Now, I believe Cajun is tier 2. So, with each tier in the system, you can work your way up more and more blocks. So, for instance, tier 1 is 3k, tier 2 is 6k, and, and so on and so on. And as they eat more rovers, consume their enemy then they can grow larger and larger. So let's continue going on. So we're going to go to HMT, that are over at the hangars. So for the nomads, we've, we've put in these cool little hangars that they can auction with each other and trade for. So as you can see, we've got a few of these hangars tucked around here. I'll load myself in. There we go. You can see the hangars. Not all of them have been sold just yet. So they will buy these. They can't attach anything to them. It's just a place where they can store their ships safely. The nomads in here. Because a lot of nomads were getting their ships uh, stolen or robbed from where they parked them around the trade area. Even though it was safe zone. A lot of them just forgot to put the landing gears down. But you can see these various different hangars. Some really cool ships that we've got going on here by the nomads. And we haven't put a limit on the blocks that the nomads can build on the small grids at the moment. Until someone pushes it a bit too far. So they can really go ham with their cargo ships and get some great detailing, as you can see, in each one of these vessels. Just have a look at that. It, it's lovely to go go crazy with a small grid. You can see this one's even got rotating thrusters pods on the side. A really nice grid there by FNS. So continuing through, a few of these hangars have been bought, but they have yet to be moved into. You can see someone's actually using this as their storage ship. A lot of nomads are storing all their supplies so that they can trade them with the Mortal Engines and the trade station when the prices fluctuate. Hangars that have not been purchased are just batteries, and you can see there is also one at the end here with another ship in. The smaller hangars haven't been that popular at the moment, but I'm sure as the larger ones are bought up, because the, mi the minimum starting price was, I think, 10k reserve for these space credits, so a lot of players had around that amount, but they were just wanting to buy the bigger ones. <laughs> this is the classic thing. And right in front of here, to stop mortal engines causing any issues, we've got a little bit of a wall. So there's something quite cool there. Let's head over to OMF. So, OMF have built themselves Concordia. You'll see a lot of cities that have gone off names. We've also allowed fictional cities, so that's why you've seen them. You'll see a Minecraft one and some other ones. So, they have invested all their time, if we look at the block count, in building their base for this rover. They probably could have spent a little bit more time in, you know, building some turrets and extra weapons because they are currently exceeding the tier 1 limit, but that might be because they've got some small rovers attached to it. We'll have to investigate that one after. So continuing through, we now have the 11th, the city of Cardiff. Originally created, I think, by Exorf to rival London. So let's see how Cardiff is doing. So they've built themselves 
it looks like they've actually been smashed up a little bit. I guess they've been in a fight and never, haven't really haven't done too well. <laughs> yeah, but the, with the smaller block count, the cities are, are limited until they get their first meal on board. Well, you can see, yeah, this one's had a little bit of a battling and bruising. I believe London's had the same at the moment, but let's continue moving our way down. So we're going to AA8, the Nimbus. So this is one of two trade station locations. Let it load in. And here they can trade goods the nomads they can also leave their things when they log off so you can see lots of nomads have these storage sort of pods we've got one who's built an mi-24 helicopter a cool grid right there and you can see there's a little hut that he's built for his survival or she very cool indeed and they've got a big yellow ship there so there's lots of really cool small grids the nomads have been working from and, and part of the challenge of this server i want to challenge players to live off a small grid and you can see they've actually built themselves AMG there, that own little resource small grid building with a lot of detailing and solar panels and a little AMG hut like there. So that's that's quite cool. It's got like a little office with a TV. It's got some information. There's Sachi. And you can see <laughs> got a little heart next to his uh, sleeping arrangements there. And they've got the solar panel up there. So it's, it's nice to test what people can do with the small panels. You can see that there's someone coming in over there as well. And the small grid flying about so the flyers are exclusive to the nomad faction because the nomad cannot build themselves any large grids so there's a cool little combination and they're limited to three grids maximum as well another little storage pod going on there this one the hydrogen storage a lot of the nomads get quite angry if um, other nomads sell their hydrogen to the mortal engines for fuel we've got this cool little blimp we saw this in a battle at the prison the other day it came in and dropped some of the troops off then we've got another transport here with welders out the front so they can actually print things out the front of these. So these small ship designs have really revolutionized how people are using the small grids because they can't use the larger ones. So we've got chaise, of course, so you can tell by the paint scheme. This one's quite cool. It's got like a little interior and it's got an upper floor as well. So this is our, you can use this to actually board through to a few vessels as well, board onto the mortal engines through that ramp there. A little rover that looks like a little bug, similar design with the inside this one's got the cryopod in it's got some little windows it's got a rick roll there on the computer <laughs> oh this is a very very cool little rovers that they've got going on here little cryopods there so they can transport each of their members around so continuing on they've also got the little apc they managed to steal from the event they've got this blimp that you saw at the start so it's a fishing boat underneath and then they've got their blimp tucked in at the top there and i believe all the propulsion is in the actual air balloon at the top i know i'm giving it away but everyone watches these on the server and they end up learning equally about each other so we've also got one of our admins little designs to try and perk a little bit of craziness we've got storm's up house so we've got the balloons up there the space balls and inside here there is a respawn kit or a survival kit and some med bays as well so very cool very cool indeed this particular trade hub seems to be very very popular we've got one up on the pad here as well we've got a little flyer they can dock um they can get a little bit of power from the station and they can get a little hydrogen let's see let's have a quick look yeah that's like this nomad myth is just parked here for the moment so very cool indeed so with all that aside let's continue working our way down so we've seen the nimbus we're gonna go to hell L A if we can find them so L L A and then we'll head over to the other safe zone so L L A are actually representing the Welsh town of Wiggly Wiggly you know the one the news reporter pronounced really well um, and currently it is a tube this is because from what Jupe has said he needs a few more blocks he needs to consume someone before he can build the city element onto the side so a lot of these 3k ships that we see are armored protection for their production that's tucked inside when they get a little bit larger it means they can start using you know building little buildings on the side and become more like a mortal engine so to say so let's just spin the sun around for a second if we can and we'll have a look at this in daylight but currently dupe has built this pretty much ready for a pvp combat ready to consume another rover so we can grow his city he's got himself in side skirts on the side to protect his wheels but he has been taking some serious damage as he's been jumping across terrain so we'll see how he does when he starts to eat his first few ships 
so let's continue on so we have got ourselves uh ls lsa we've been we've been through them we just want i don't I hate missing people i always feel so bad when we miss people we've been through their warehouse if i'm correct that was all stored at the hangar area yeah that was all stored at the hangar area that we visited earlier a few people have put some things on top and so lsr is where we want to go so lsr what are you guys up to so lsr currently need a bit of a chatting to because they have two large grids so we're gonna have to either delete this one or that one when we've had a word with them but as you can see we have their grid right there very very cool indeed i, th I think it's a taco bell of, of some kind it's still being printed out from this grid um but but we'll have, we'll have a word about that and we'll see if we can sort that out but let's have a quick peek inside what's going on in here oh it's got like a quite a, a wide interior more than expected it's got the turrets at the front so this should be another interesting mortal engines role but let's actually turn the lighting back on for this location and just have a look what it looks like in the day if we can very very nice so we're now over at rab's mortal engine now von ruger has painstakingly recreated here a small minecraft village so you can see he's got everything from the crops complete with the water running through the middle to a minecraft village church and another small minecraft hut there but don't let that minecraft <laughs> exterior you know deceive you he's packing some serious firepower here with these 150 millimeter cannons facing forward and then down below he's got himself a nice array of missile launchers so let's go inside and have a quick look if we can get over this little frame rate drops which we seem to be suffering when we're around this grid i'm not too sure what's going on here you can see it's tightly compacted in the inside and I, uh, let's just have a look at um rab's grid so this is 4109 so he's either eaten a few ships or his small grid is adding to his count you can see he's got a small grid rover around the back there with some 105s now with these 105s we've stopped having them on the flyers so people have got to utilize them on little ships like this and it's quite useful because you can snipe from a distance cause some trouble and then get the hell out of there if you're smart about it weave through the trees and the mortal engines won't be able to follow you so let's continue on now we've just already been to rsb so we're going to head to top top let's have a look what top have got in store for us so over at top we have this strange thing being created I'm, I'm i'm not too sure exactly what city it is i think i'm going to have to ask them and yeah that's that's interesting it looks like maybe they've started once again with building all their important bits on the inside protecting them and then they're going to work on their city on the exterior because currently it just looks like a, a large truck but I, I don't want to deter them they've got a small rover truck on the inside there and then up top they've got themselves this this interesting monument what, what is this from it looks familiar is it a lookout post up here or anything oh there is this seat so you i guess you can sit up here and zoom out with your camera and look over the horizon the, the most funny thing about a lot of these mortal rovers is when they they do come over the horizon and you're in a little grid trying to run away from them well it's quite cool that one it, it looks like the, the sort of combination of a wheeled sand crawler but yeah let's see it become a city of some kind guys before i have to have a word let's head over to nbi nbi where are we going mbi where are you this so this is mbi london so what ended up happening with mbi london since the last video you saw us as the admins tormenting them um cajun in rsb decided to put a little bit of a fight into them so they ran into the hills camouflaged up and decided to rework their rover design so they've reworked it with green at the moment so nomads can't spot them from the air well i mean they will spot them of course there's a big safe zone around but when they're moving about and they're tucked in with the trees they can blend in a little bit better but they will be turning it back to the london colors and they've got three turrets at the top so you can see they've got this big array of very powerful 150s in each one of these turrets and i believe one of them yeah there we go 
So there's your array of 150s. So that's that's some serious firepower. Combine that with the naval guns down the side. The naval guns have a really poor range, the 18th century cannonballs, but they can let out some real good firepower if they're aimed. But it's going to have the classic problem, this one, that multi-turreted tanks do have. And that's that perhaps unless it's on, on a broadside, not all of these turrets are going to be able to fire. And from the front, it looks like may, maybe one, maybe two turrets will be able to fire at the maximum. But this is just a really cool grid design with the doors at the front, the the engineering in the inside, the the lovely pictures of Conrad, Queen Aaron, and Apathy the Joker on the in, <laughs> the inside. Some nice nice notes. Oh, cities to hit. REB week three. RSB, Duke, Whiskers, oh no, have I, have, I, have I seen too much? To-do list, eat more cities, merge with TNT, stockpile more resources, register Magpie's deck gun with the Geneva Convention. <laughs> oh, lovely. So let's break this down into the final rover. That is, if we come to the bottom, he's always at the bottom. WMC, we head over to their base. So Whiskers rover right here. Now this is really taking that city aspect to the level that I like. You can see it's got the windows at the front, it's got the building entrance. This this is what I wanted from the Mortal Engine. Some players are struggling a little bit to grasp the Mortal Engine's theme, but, you know, let them build how they want to a degree. As long as they come up with some sort of city at the end of it, I am happy with it. So they've got the deck guns on the back there, Chuck dual barrel. They've got the tower up the side there with missile turrets and rocket launchers on. And they've got this grinding front end, so they can literally eat another city. I like how it's up on its axles, this one. It's also got a landing pad, so that nomads can come in, dock with whiskers, and source out some trade deals. And from that landing pad, it's got this cool little walkway up. I, I like this a lot. And then it's got this, this area here, with a cannon docked in this area. That's very cool, isn't it? I wonder how exactly that works. Maybe, ooh, it, ooh, it flips up and rotates and comes out to this hole, I'm guessing. Very cool. Nice work, Whiskers. And we've got another missile turret there. What have we got up here? Just plumbing. I was wondering if there was going to be another flip-up turret. Maybe there can be a turret up here on the future, but at the moment it's just another landing pad. So that is how our Mortal Engines server is going. We've had a few punch-ups, a few little battles, and a few cool events. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and let me know in the comment section which is your favourite Nomad vehicle, or flyer, or rover, or whatever you've seen, and your favourite Mortal Engine. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.